I think we have an amazing group of people here at Wild Cornell Medicine. I, I, I really do. Head and neck cancer surgery and, and the practice of head and neck cancer uh, operations definitely requires um, a team approach. Uh, and I think we do that extremely well here. Head and neck surgery is a specialty within otolaryngology where we diagnose and treat head and neck cancers uh, in patients. Uh, my main job is to take both benign and cancerous tumors uh, out of people's heads and necks. What's been happening over the last 10 years is that we are becoming more minimally invasive. I also think that the reconstruction that we are, can do uh, are much better. So I think those minimally invasive procedures allow us to do all the surgery that we could do before, but with much less side effects, much less complications, much, you know, and, and improve the quality of life of these patients. A lot of patients who have head and neck cancer will have certain symptoms. Sore throat that doesn't go away. They'll have hoarseness that is persistent. Uh, they'll have ear pain sometimes. Uh, sometimes they'll develop a sore or ulcer in their mouth that also is not going away. Uh, some people have swallowing problems where they have more and more difficulty swallowing. A lot of patients have, you know, in head, with head and neck cancer don't have any symptoms in the throat, but they'll develop a, a lump in their neck. So those would be very common things that we would see in terms of symptoms. In my practice, you're gonna see people from all walks of life and all types of different cultures and different languages. I think you have to understand where these patients are coming from in order to talk to them. So I, I think it, it, it's important to have the ability to understand different people. You know, we don't treat them as a number. We treat them as a person. And I think that's what makes us different than other places.